Biscuits Tech Talk. Today we're talking about HTML5 and browsers. Do you know about HTML5, the new coding standard for, you know, the web pages that you um, will be seeing in the future will be using the HTML standard. Now, HTML5 has many new features and capabilities such as media, um, encoding, showing you streaming of uh, video, for example. YouTube will change because of HTML5 eventually. Um, it eliminates the use of Flash, basically, so that's a good thing. And um, when I did some tests on different aspects of HTML5 compatibility, Chrome version 16, as you can see here, came on top, okay, six um, or seven features that it was tested against when it comes to HTML5 um, are, are common and found, but HTML5 capabilities in this case for Chrome, seven out of seven, all tests, it scored very well so far, so if you're looking for a browser that has support for HTML5 from end to end, right now Chrome seems to be it, okay? And um, next, of course, if you're using Safari or um, maybe using Opera, Opera came in here on an overall score in second place. However, it only supported five out of seven capabilities of HTML5. So still not really there yet, okay? But um, Safari, you know, did much worse. Okay, so if you have, um, you know, a Mac or you're using uh, Safari on Windows, that one did pretty bad with only one out of seven capabilities there. So not very good for Safari, even though it might be a fast browser. And, of course, Firefox here did very well uh, when it came to HTML5 support. Six out of seven tests it was able to do, and uh, it scored, you know, pretty good. You know, average, uh, you know, about average in the scores compared to Chrome and Opera. Uh, but, of course, the overall speed is slower than uh, Opera and uh, Chrome. Now, last but not least, when it comes to um, Internet Explorer, we're talking about three out of seven um, tests were only available because, you know, Internet Explorer doesn't really work very well. Um, and, and, you know, you can't expect uh, Internet Explorer 9 to really be there yet at this point. IE10 is coming out later on this year, and that one will have much more capabilities. But uh, there you have it, HTML5 in a nutshell, Browser Wars. Comment below if you've got one of those browsers. Which one do you have? Thank you for watching.